Hey gang, Rumble Punch here. Uh, coming at you with a little video that might help you decide which steel bender's helper you want. Um, if you're looking for a correlation between iron mine nails and the steel bender's helpers, I have here a beginning model steel bender's helper and a sub intermediate. Now there's a super intermediate between these two. Okay? And it's approximately half inch shorter than the uh, the beginning model okay today was supposed to be an off day but I look for any excuse to, <laughs> to bend alright I wasn't supposed to do anything today now this is a sub intermediate okay now I have an iron mine yellow nail and don't even ask me why I still have these uh, I have an iron mine yellow and a blue and I'm going to see if I can give you a little better idea about how they feel. All right. The beginning model, I can tell you this: if you're bending grip rights, okay, the uh, those dull gray common nails, uh, the sixty penny dull gray commons from grip right, um, I'm going to say that this is going to be the beginning will be your your perfect if the uh, the dull grays are as high as you've bent if that's your your nail that you've just bent okay um, and if you can do 10 reps on your beginning steel benders helper then you're about ready for bending those dull grays alright so I've got a yellow nail in here and these are some of my own wraps. Um, I'm going to be offering these pretty soon. And I'm asking you all if you would be interested in me uh, carrying like a small uh, steel bender certification pack to go along with uh, your steel bender's helper. You know, like uh, for example, if you can bend uh, the sub beginning for, uh, you know, uh, 50 reps, then you should be able to bend 7 inch uh, hot rolled steel 7 inch by quarter inch hot rolled steel if you can bend the beginning for 50 reps then you should be able to bend 7 inch by cold rolled steel uh, like that so let's just see this is the yellow nail didn't get my wraps tight. That's okay though. So the yellow nail is just about just about Yellow nail's got maybe 20 pounds more force to close it than the uh, beginning. So this is about about 20 to 30 pounds harder than the beginning steel bender's helper. That's a yellow nail. All right. Now we'll do the blue nail. And then I should probably tighten up the wraps, redo the wraps, whatever, but I don't feel like it. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Excuse me, guys. <coughs> oh, man. Something out there blooming. Woo. So this, I'm doing this for a client who is deciding between a super beginning and sub-intermediate. And... He's been in the, the blue nails now, so I figured I would help him out. Blue nail. I'm going to say the blue nail is maybe the same 10, 10 pounds, 20 pounds harder than the sub 
intermediate steel bender's helper. So the blue nail is, you know, say 20, 30 pounds harder. So if this is the level you're at and you're wanting something to do reps, then this will be your deal, the, the sub-intermediate. This will be a good one for you to get those reps in on and everything. So that's uh that's pretty much pretty much the deal there. If you're just bending the blue, then I mean the yellow, then for reps you're gonna want the beginning and for low reps slash uh something to work toward you would want the super beginning. If you're bending blues then for reps you're going to want a super beginning and for low reps slash challenge goal you're going to want the sub intermediate. So hope that helps you guys. Just wanted to uh, to share that real quick. See if we can see if we can squeeze those in a little further huh? don't even know why I still had these uh... anyway oh the the challenge packs okay um... and in addition to that being a physical manifestation of the work that you've done on your steel benders helper I'll also offer you certifications on all the bars the, that uh... that I'll carry let me know if you guys would be interested in that um, I had someone ask if I'd be, be able to offer wraps so that uh, you could get those from me. Now my wraps are the same same thickness as the iron mind wraps but they're a finer denier so they're not going to be as stiff as your iron mind wraps. Those give you an advantage the iron mind wraps do. You know um, because they, uh, you know, when you're bending steel, on the steel benders helpers, they don't because they're wrapped big around the grip. But it will give you leverage if you're uh, if you're bending steel. So that's something to think about. Yeah, there we go. Bend her a little bit closer, huh? Yeah, same thickness, but uh, a finer denier. There you go, definitely got her closer. That's that blue. So, that's it. Uh, just wanted to do that real quick. It might help you make up your mind. And the sub advanced is the same to the red nail as the sub intermediate is to the blue nail. Um, if you can rep, if you can rep the sub advanced. Uh, one to five times, then you're ready to to smoke a red nail. Well, at least the red nails that I have now. I have a batch from a little less than a year ago. I understand the ones that are coming out now are, are a bit harder. But if you can rep that sub advanced, you know, one to five times, then you can you can bend. Uh, you can bend a red nail in double wraps. And I'm not going to bend any hard steel today. Not going to do it. Today was an off day because I've been working my butt off around here. So I just wanted to do this real quick. Just get my hands on some steel and steel bender's helper. Got that beginning. And yesterday was supposed to be an off day because I've been moving gravel. I've been, you know, redoing the driveway. And yesterday, between yesterday and the day before, I moved around three ton of gravel and a couple of five gallon buckets and I'm sure I'll be naked. Man, I was whipped today. So, let's just see. I'll just do this real quick, okay? This is the beginning steel bender's helper. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen.
70, 71, 63, 64, 63, 64, 63, 64, 63, 64, 63, 64, 63, He's uh he's certified. He's the first to certify bare hand, by the way. Um, on the, his his beginning steel benders helper. He uh he put it really well. Like once you get in those higher reps, once you get around, you know, fifty and everything, you get this this burning that, that starts all through your muscles just and keeping it in position is like the biggest challenge in everything. Your body tells you take it out of position but you keep it there and you keep pushing through and man you just get so yoked it's just it just amazes me every time you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and try to certify on the beginning after I've uh, taken rest up time I'm gonna try to certify on the beginning for the uh, the 500 reps I'm going to try to go for it. I I feel like I can do it. The biggest challenge, of course, is keeping it in position when those muscles are just like trying to fail out on you and everything. But, yeah, I love it, you guys. So, there it is, man. There, it, I ended up babbling again. Um, if the blue nail is as high as you've gotten, but you're bending them relatively fast, then the sub-intermediate is going to be a great piece for you. Um, the intermediate is a big step uh, from, from your beginning. It's a huge step. So make sure you're taking the appropriate step, okay? If the yellow nail is the bar that you're bending, then your super, the super beginning is probably going to be better for you. If you haven't if you haven't conquered the blue nails yet, okay, then that's gonna be be the appropriate piece of gear for you. All right. So I appreciate you all coming by very much. All right. Live free, punch hard, and bend hard. All right. And be good to yourselves because you're worth it, and I dig you. And let me know if you think that the the pack of, of certification bars would be a good idea. Okay, where they're gonna correlate with uh, you know the the way that you're bending, and that's how these levels work. The sub beginning, if you can bend it 50 times, then you should be able to rep the beginning. If you can bend the uh, beginning 50 times, you should be able to rep the super beginning. If you can bend the super beginning 50 times, you should be able to rep your sub intermediate, so on and so forth. Um, that being said, you know, you're going to have to be ready for the additional strain. Like, it's going to what's the word I'm looking for it's gonna be a surprise alright when you, you've gotten you've been working your reps working your reps and then you go to the next one and you're like what is this you know is this rigid what is this is this not gonna bend that's how you feel because it's uh... it's gonna be a surprise that that new level of resistance but go with it because you can do it alright so again be good to yourselves okay and let me know Bye now, and thanks for coming by, okay? I dig you. Bye-bye.